shit, welcome back, how you doing, Ed here. I got a good video for you guys today. We are actually gonna be answering a question that popped up the other day on one of my videos, but before we get started, as always, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, share this shit with your friends, let's get this information out to the world because it's some valuable stuff. But, with that, let's get to it. The other day, I got a comment on one of my videos saying, Ed, I'm wondering if you could do a video on what times throughout the day you should be taking your test injections, whether twice a week with test E, same time in the morning, or twice a week, once in the morning, second time being in the PM. Also, maybe timing on when you take your preventative supplements. Yes, I am going to answer that. We're just going to start off with testosterone. Um, we'll tackle that one today, and then if you guys are interested, I will make a follow-up video about what time of day I take my preventative supplements and why I do so that way. So let's dive into it. Test. Uh, me personally, when I'm on my normal TRT dose of 150 milligrams testosterone cypionate per week, I split it up into two injections per week, and I split it pretty evenly. I do once Monday morning and once Thursday afternoon. Now, it's not really ultimately going to matter um, the time of day that you take your testosterone injections, ultimately because you got to understand the half-life of these things. So real quick, before we even get into any further explanation, I'm going to pop up this plot here that shows you the half-life of testosterone enanthate and testosterone cypionate. Now, uh, if you look, this is comparing 194 milligrams of testosterone enanthate to 200 milligrams testosterone cypionate. And it shows you your serum testosterone levels throughout the following days after your injection. Now, it's the case for both of them. They peak about one to two days following injection. And then they slowly taper off where you see they kind of come back down to where they started about eight to ten days after. So say I split my dose up into twice a week, I'm doing every three and a half days. Like I said, Monday morning, Thursday afternoon, divides the week perfectly in half. So by the time day three and a half comes around, I'm still like on that peak kind of where it's just starting to come down. So because of the way that the half-life works in these molecules, they are longer ester. I personally don't see any reason that you need to inject more frequently then twice a week. Some guys will swear by it. Some guys say, I feel great doing every single day micro injections. Some guys say, I feel better doing once a week, a large injection, just one time a week. And yeah, I feel great doing that. I mean, ultimately, it's going to depend on the person um, as far as frequency. There can be a lot of different things that affect how you feel. Um, the frequency of injections is going to have an outcome on SHBG levels. Uh, so typically when you do more frequent injections, you'll have higher SHBG, which can kind of bind up more of the testosterone. So you might have a lower free testosterone with daily micro injections versus if you do one big weekly injection, you could have more free testosterone, but you're gonna get more of a peak and a trough. So you gotta kinda find the middle ground. That's why I personally think twice a week is a good safe spot to be in. Um, it's not too frequent where you gotta like pin yourself every single day and it's a pain in the ass. And you're also not getting those real peaks and troughs. You're kinda right as it's starting to come off of that peak, boom, you're injecting again, you're good. So you avoid a lot of those ups and downs and hormone fluctuations. Um, one other thing to note is that some guys like to do sub-Q versus intramuscular because subcutaneous administrations could actually take slightly longer for your body to metabolize than, say, an intramuscular injection. So, if you are worried about injection frequency, um, timing, etc., uh, to make it even more stable in your blood levels, you could go sub-Q. That way your body won't metabolize it quite as fast as if you were doing a intramuscular injection. That being said, we want to know what time of day. Hey, should I be injecting in the morning, in the afternoon, at night? Ultimately, it doesn't matter because like I said, uh, here's that plot again showing testosterone enanthate and testosterone cypionate. They don't peak until about 24 to 48 hours after your injection. 
Uh, here's another plot, boom, showing just testosterone and nenthate. This was after a single 250 milligram administration. So same thing in this plot. That first one there shows you one to two days after it's hitting its peak. And then there's just a couple other plots there showing some of the metabolites and whatnot. You got DHT, estradiol. Uh, they can affect how you feel too. So earlier when we were talking about the frequency of administration and how it affects how you feel, um, DHT, estradiol, those can also affect how you feel. So ultimately the injection frequency is going to be based on an individual basis and you might feel better once a week. You might feel better doing everyday administrations. That's going to be on you. That's for you to find out. Um, but what time of day? I would say, I mean, morning to afternoon-ish. According to the plots, they peak 24 to 48 hours after your testosterone administration. So if you have a you know big PR that you want to hit, if you have a Spartan race coming up this weekend, uh, you know, you could do your testosterone injection 24 to 48 hours before whatever big activity you're gearing up for. Ha! Gearing up for it, get it? Uh, but yeah, I mean, other than that, like it's not going to throw off how you feel, your mood, any of that. Uh, a lot of people just don't like to do it before bed. Um, I think it could be a placebo. A lot of people say they might sleep funky if they do their testosterone injection before bedtime. But it also could be just if you have like a weird reaction, um, like if you nick something going in and you're sore or, you know, some of the testosterone gets absorbed, you know, a little bit quicker through a vein or something. And, you, you know, you have a weird reaction, a flare up uh, that might cause you to sleep funky. But ultimately, I don't think it really matters. You could take your test in the morning. You could take it in the afternoon. And that's what the consensus most people are going to tell you. Um, so if you're super worried, I would just say avoid bed. Um, but other than that, doesn't matter the time of day. And you could do it on a Monday morning, Thursday morning. I'm just like to be perfect and dial it in exact. So I do a Monday morning, a Thursday afternoon. Anyway, hope you learned something here. Thank you guys for watching. And like I said, I can make a follow up and go into some more detail about the supplements I take, when I take them and why I do so. So, thank you guys for watching. That's all I got for you. Ed out.